Hello, I'm Bobby White, Instructional Designer at California College of the Arts, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your gradebook in Moodle. So I have both a gradebook that is almost complete as well as a brand new gradebook, so you'll be able to see uh, how to get started. But first I want to give you an idea of uh, what one looks like. So the easiest way to get to the gradebook is over on the left navigation, click on grades, and it will default to the grader report. Now this is where you can actually uh, put in grades for your students as well as uh, see their progress and how they're doing. This is also what it looks like for them, except of course they only see their own grade. Um, there are a lot of tabs here and reports and views and things to check out. I um, encourage you to just explore and, and, and look at all the options here. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is how to get a grade book just up and going, right? So you're going to want to click on setup. And in this case, um, I've already made some pretty major decisions about how I'm going to set up the grade book. And um, I'm going to explain that to you. So there are many different ways you can um, format your grade book, use a grade book. If you've done this before and you've worked in here before, you may have done it a different way. What I'm going to show you today is what I think is most common and what works um, easiest with people's uh, syllabi and how people tend to set up sort of categories, weighted categories of activities. Um, so I, I like to use the weighted mean of grades type of gradebook. That's not the default um, for your gradebook. So we'll talk about that when we go look at the um, brand new site in a second. But in this case, weighted mean of grades, what that means is that I'm gonna create, um, I call them buckets, but categories um, that are weighted. So there's a participation category here that is weighted at uh, 10. Now what 10 means is it's a weight, but what it means in this case is because the course total is still gonna be 100, that's just, it's easier math, so I like to leave it at 100. Um, if the course total is still 100, um, then my category can be thought of as a percent. So participation is gonna be 10% of the grade, lessons and practice are gonna be 20% of the grade, workshops and peer critique are gonna be 30% of the grade and so on. Um, and I'm missing a category because these weights should all add up, these percentages weights should all add up to 100 in this case. So um, that's what it means to create your different categories. Those aren't the assignments themselves. So you create the categories ideally first because uh, it will be easier for you uh, to put the assignments in the proper category if you first set up your categories. So set up your categories that should match your syllabus. So you've already figured those uh, weights out, those categories out. And then what that does is it gives you so much flexibility. In each of these categories, you can put as many assignments as you want. Um, and you can, um, and it will do the math for you. So you can change your mind as you go. Let's say I just decided this is one too many lessons. I get rid of a lesson. I don't have to worry about my course total because it's not operating on a point scale. It's operating on a weighted scale, which is really nice. Also, if I come along and I think, well, this assignment's actually, it's weighted twice as much as these other ones. So I'm gonna put a two on this one. And that, that way, this, this lesson will be weighted twice as much inside uh, this category, which is 20% of the total grade. So um, if you come down here, you'll see that all of these things are inside their category. And we know that they're inside the category, barely, <laughs> visually, because they're indented here. So I'm looking at lessons and practice, and I'm seeing lessons and practice total here. And inside that, these are indented so that they line up. As you scroll all the way down, you'll see that I have three assignments. These are actual assignments activities um, that don't yet have a category. And that's because I meant to have um, a projects and assignments category and I need to build that. So let's go ahead and build that now. Uh, so down here, you're gonna see add category. And we'll talk about this one in a minute, but we're gonna click on add category. Ooh. I made some changes that I didn't save. So it's reminding me that I changed this um, weight to two. So I better save those changes first. 
And the grade book will be very good about reminding you to save. Save often. Okay, so we're gonna add a category. This category I'm gonna call projects and assignments. Okay, and the default will be natural. We'll talk about that weird word in a minute, but um, we have a weighted mean of grades grade book here. So, and that, that is the um, setup that I recommend unless you're trying to do something different. So weighted mean of grades, I need to be sure that on all my categories, I've set each category up also to be weighted mean of grades. And I'm gonna just click save, this is that easy. So now I'll have a new category down here at the bottom. And right now, it doesn't know what percentage to make it. Let's see, what do we got? So we got 30, 60, so I'm gonna make this one 40. I would know that from my syllabus. Um, I'm gonna make that one 40 and click save. And then I need to get these assignments that I created into that category. So I'm gonna show you the two ways to do this. One is kind of the weird, hard way and the other one takes more time. So um, you can decide. So I'm gonna move this and when I do, it means I'm gonna click on these two little arrows here. And this very bizarre thing will happen where it will say, where do you wanna move it to? And I will come down here and I'll say, I wanna move it inside projects and assignments. And I'll click that little box. Uh, so feel free to pause and rewind uh, to watch that again. But I'm going to show you the other way that we could deal with it, which is to go into, oh, do we need to hit save? Probably. Which is to just go back to the assignments and change um, the category that those assignments are in. And this is why it's easier to create the categories first before you create your assignments. Um, so I'm going to come down here. And I'm just scrolling through the assignment here. Um, actually, it should be, let's see, grade. Okay, so it's gonna be under grade, not categorized. And we are gonna put it under projects and assignments and save. And then um, I'll come to the next one. I'm actually not sure which one. Uh, was the other one that we needed to move in. So we'll check this one under grade. Okay. And I'm gonna put that one under projects and assignments and I think that's it. I'm gonna save and return to course. We can go back to our grades now and set up. And we'll scroll down and see. Great. So we've got projects and assignments 40% of the overall grade. And so far we have three assignments. Okay, and each one of them, these are weights as well. Each one of them are weighted as one, which means they're all gonna be equal to one another inside this category. And again, if I wanted to make one of them way more than the others, I could do that. But for now, I'm just gonna go with the defaults, which are um, to leave it as one. So if I was going to create a new assignment, Let's do that really quickly. So we're gonna scroll down here, add an activity or resource, grab an assignment. I'm gonna do this part kind of quickly because really what we're trying to get to is the category. So projects, project, figure, drawing. Okay, there would be instructions that would go there and due dates and all that good stuff. Down under grade, I'm going to put this in projects and assignments. So see the Categories are there because I've created them over in the gray book. I'm now creating a brand new assignment and it will automatically be put in the gray book. So let's scroll down and save and return to course. Now you can go over to our gray book and set up. And now I should see figure drawing right there. Now, because I added it from the course, it doesn't default to one for some reason. So um, it's very important that you catch that and make that a one or give it some sort of weight because otherwise it won't be included in the grading, which is also 
you can think about that in reverse. If there's something you don't want to have included in the grade, but it's an assignment or it's some kind of activity, and so it automatically created something here, put a zero. And that's how you can control how much it's going to weigh. You can just say it's going to weigh nothing. Okay, so now I've added a, another assignment. Great. So one more thing while we're here. Um, if you need to add something uh, to put a grade, you want to be able to put a grade for something that does not have a corresponding activity in your Moodle site. So it doesn't have an assignment. It's not a graded forum. Um, it's not a workshop. You want to just put something in. Often this happens under participation. So you just want to be able to put a participation grade or there was something in particular, maybe an online virtual tour you asked everybody to, to do. Um, because it's not going to be a field trip. So what you would do then is come down here and do add grade item. So add grade item allows you to just manually put in um, a line for your, for your grade for that activity. Um, just don't use this for things that you're going to put in your Moodle site or you'll end up with duplicate. Hopefully that makes sense. So for this one, I'm just going to say uh, virtual tour uh, attendance. You know, did did folks show up for the for the virtual tour? And maybe you have some some way of them letting you know that they did that. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit save here. Oh, grade category. Don't want to miss that. So I'm going to put that under participation. So save changes. And now. I could see it right here. I'm going to add my weight. I could have done that on the previous screen, uh, screen there, but I'm going to add the weight for the vir virtual tour attendance and come down here and click save. Okay, so those are the basics um, showing you how to set up your gradebook using weighted mean of grades. I want to just, before I end, uh, click over to a sample site where uh, nothing has been done yet. So this is what your course site looks like when you open it up and there's nothing in it yet. Okay, so there's no, no assignments have been created, no gradebook items, uh, it's just blank. So you, you're going to need to do this one very important setting. You're gonna come over to uh, this edit, which I just remembered is the very top item in this gray bar here. It's not the course total. So a lot of people, their eyes go here because it's bolded, but you're gonna go to the very top one. It's the title of your class. And over here under edit, you're gonna go edit settings. And you're changing um, the aggregation basically for your whole, uh, your whole gradebook here. So the default is called natural. Not sure why they call it natural, but uh, maybe that's a term. Um, but what that does is it is just adding up points. So you may be used to doing this on your own, but I tell you that if you use weighted mean of grades, you can be freed from the 100 point grade book, right? But let's say you are used to having a 100 point grade book and you make all of your assignments add up to 100. And then when the students get 87 out of 100 points, then they get 87%. That would be a natural gradebook. So you can certainly use this if you'd like. Um, the weighted mean of grades can be set up the same way, but give you so much more flexibility because you don't have to worry about the 100 point situation, right? So um, in order to uh, set this up as weighted mean of grades, that's all you're changing on this page. You don't have to worry about all this other stuff. You're just changing natural to weighted mean of grades and then clicking save. Okay. And now my grade book is ready for categories. That's the next step. You're going to add your categories. And if, again, if you do these early, it'll be easier down the road. So my first category is going to be participation. And I'm going to say weighted mean of grades. I got to be sure that I tell each category what type of gradebook I'm using, and I'm gonna do save on that. And then I can come and say, participation is gonna be 10% of the grade, save. And then that flows into everything I showed you before. So you're gonna put all your categories, then you'll start adding your assignments, 
your forums, your workshops, things like that. Um, those will flow into the gradebook. If you'll need to come to the gradebook and make sure that the weights are what you want them to be and add any additional gradebook, grade items as needed that aren't gonna be created through the regular activities. And that's about it. So just remember that if you have any questions or need any help to please contact the help desk and we have a whole team of people that can help you out with this. Have a great day.